Happy New Year guys! Today is my first day back at work and I'm feeling motivated and refreshed. I made sure to give myself some rest towards the end of last year and I'm just excited to start a new year. So this morning I did some planning for the week and replied to some emails and now I'm going to work on my goals and visions for 2022. I love doing this every year because it gives me purpose and a sense of direction. When I'm feeling lost or when I need to make a decision, it helps to be able to look at these visions and check whether what I'm doing is in line with what I want in life. Of course, it's also okay to go back and change your goals at any time. What you think you want now might not be what you want later. So you don't have to stick to any goals if they're not working for you. And really you can do this at any time of the year, but I tend to feel more motivated during New Year, so I'm going to make mine today. Okay, I'm done writing down this year's goals. I'm trying to not overthink about trying to make everything pretty in my journal. I think it's more important to just get it done. I'm glad that I was able to finish that today because I think last year I didn't write down my goals until like April or something. うん、おいしい。I'm going to send out new year cards. These were my December happy mail. I always do a zodiac theme for the new year and this year is tiger year and I always send some to my friends as well. I don't know why but I'm always late in sending new year cards. I 
I thought I would stick some stickers on the postcards and I accidentally pulled this one too hard and I tore his ear off. No! Not to have a conversation And that's the moment you step in To find some shelter too And get a word these are some stamps that I have. I keep buying the cute ones and I just hoard them. I'm trying not to hoard, so I'm gonna use these. And postcard postage is 63 yen. I have these little prince ones. These Pokemon ones, they're 84 yen though. This is from Letter Writing Day. This is also a Pokemon. And these Moomin ones are a little bit old, so they're 62 yen. But I guess I can get one yen stamp at the post office. I love these because they're circular shape. I've never seen any stamps that's not rectangular or square till I came to Japan. So this was so interesting to me. Okay, so I'm gonna use these for my friends in Japan. And I'll use these for my overseas friends. I bought this mochi from our new year day trip. Masa's mom bought us this before and it was really nice so when I saw it I had to get it again. And I'm gonna have it with this tea. Oh, it smells good. I got this tea from a snack trade with a friend in Korea and so far every tea from this brand smells amazing. I don't know how well known they are, but if you ever see this brand around, I, I think it's worth trying. There's eight total in this bag. I'm just gonna have one now and save the rest for later. How cute is this packaging? I'm definitely gonna keep it for something. I got a plate because I had a feeling I was gonna make a mess. This is one of the best mochi I've had, I think. I went and bought myself correction tape. I just remembered that some of my goals kind of stressed me out last year. I realized that I always set my goals to be a little bit more challenging each year. So like let's say last year I read three books and this year I should read five books or something like that. And I think that can be a motivating thing, but for me, once I write down a number, I try like way too hard to meet that number and then it kind of just ends up stressing me out. So growing up, the way I've been taught is that you should always aim for 120%. And if you do that, you're gonna fall short and it's gonna land 
at 100% and I've kind of followed this for most of my life and honestly it just burned me out and I would say that it doesn't really work because sometimes I aim for 120 and I end up feeling so pressured that what I actually achieve is something like 60. I feel like when you look at your goals, it should motivate you, it should make you feel inspired, it shouldn't be something that stresses you out. It is hard because I do value growth and I personally think I still have a lot of growing to do in different areas of my life but I think you just have to pick and choose the areas you want to grow in and you can't grow every area of your life at once so I'm gonna fix some of the things that I wrote down. 